Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, look, we are back again for another one. Another video regarding Ryan Garcia and his and his PED substance abuse, you know, allegations. Not really allegations because he tested positive, you know what I'm saying? We just hopped off the stream just now and it was brought to my attention. And, and a lot of questions were asked of me uh, regarding to the Ryan Garcia. Like, did you see the information? A Ryan Garcia supplement tested positive, so he's innocent. Wrong. 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 Ryan Garcia is not innocent. Excuse me, what? What once again, Ryan Garcia is not innocent. Come again, say what? One more time for those in the back. Ryan Garcia is not innocent. To much of my dismay, you know what I'm saying? I would love for it to be this innocent because that would that would do boxing justice and it'll, it, it'll, it, will, it would remove the taint and the and the foul marks away from his victory on Devin Haney but no this does not mean that he's innocent he still had Osterine in his system he is guilty it's just that this th this now these findings of, along with the hair follicle test will help prove that he did not cheat intentionally yeah so I'm gonna give you a scenario right here right if I'm driving and I hit somebody unintentionally does that mean i'm innocent of not hit, running somebody over yeah or does it mean that i'm negligent and i just did it unbeknownst to me or accidentally do you think i'm still gonna get charged with hitting somebody of course i am whether i but now if i ran them down i'm gonna get charged with 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 a crime of intentional you know intentionally trying to hurt somebody you know so that 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 punishment will be worse but i still hit somebody you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially if they die. You know, that's why they have involuntary manslaughter and they have manslaughter. <laughs> There's a difference between these things. <laughs> so, so the point is that I'm saying is, I mean, we can read it right here. We can read it right here. This is ESPN, Mike Coppinger. It says two Ryan Garcia supplements test positive for Osterine. So let's read it, man. Let's read it right here. We're not going to read the whole thing, but I want to, I want to just get right to it. The, 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 the meat and potatoes. It says the supplements, raspberry lemonade flavor, NutriBio Supercarb, which showed the presence of Osterine at 70 to 2,200 uh, picograms per gram powder and body health strawberry fl flavored amino acid blend 660 to 830 picograms these all had osterine in them the other supplements garcia listed on the on the forms were d3 iron and thorn elite multivitamins and magnesium glycinate whatever okay so paul green who represented ufc stars john jones and sean o'malley in dopey cases told espn on thursday he's hopeful that the presence of osterine in those supplements will have will lead to a reduced suspension for garcia reduced suspension for garcia reduced meaning he's still guilty he's not innocent of anything he had it in the system you know what i'm saying and right here this is the this is the meat and potatoes this is the interesting part please y'all listen to me i appreciate y'all coming to ask me because it makes me feel flattered that y'all know that i report things with integrity and i report the truth and i'm unbiased this says the commission's doping rules adhere to strict liability they adhere to strict liability once again strict liability which means the fighter is responsible for any supplements that they take <laughs> oh wow whether it was unbeknownst to them or not, intentional or not, he took the supplements. So Green acknowledges that there was still a negligent component. What did I say? Ryan Garcia is not innocent. He is negligent. However, it says to, Gar to Garcia's actions, but he argues that it was an innocent mindset. I've never heard that in my life. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. An innocent mindset? You had, he had an innocent mindset. Like people, now this is Garcia, he's part of Garcia's legal team. So you don't say he represented Garcia. So he's supposed to make it sound as, 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 as pure and innocent as possible. An innocent mindset. Have you ever seen somebody hit somebody? I'm gonna go back to the car analogy that I made. If you hit somebody with a car accidentally, do they say he had an innocent mindset? Or they just say that he didn't have the intent to kill. So Ryan Garcia still hit Devin Haney with the car. He just didn't run Devin Haney down and do it intentionally. But he's still guilty of hitting somebody with a car, whether he did it accidentally or not. 
So no, do not listen to these people out here saying Ryan Garcia is innocent. This has nothing to do with innocence. Innocence went out the window when he tested positive for the A sample and then when he tested positive again for the B sample. Once again, I will show you, once again, Dr. Pascal Kintz, just maybe I dropped a video on this before. Dr. Pascal Kintz, you know, it says, <clears throat> the same person who they sent the hair test, the hair follicle testing to, he wrote this paper. Dr. Pascal Kintz wrote this paper where it says human hair testing for positive, I mean, human hair testing for selective androgen receptor modulators, SARMs. Austrian is a, is a form of SARMs. Current knowledge and limitations. This was written by Dr. Pascal Kintz, right? The same hair expert that they sent this, the same expert that they sent the hair follicles to. What does he say in this article? It's very important. It says, in case of adverse analytical findings, hair testing can complement to document the claim of the athlete. But of course, the result should not be considered as an alternative to the urine analysis. This is because a negative hair result cannot exclude the use of the detected drug and cannot overrule the urine result, meaning that it does not supersede the urine analysis. I've already told you this. So this, what has been released on, on, on ESPN and what has been uh, 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 written about by Dr. Pascal Kintz, the expert on this situation, and on this incident and on the doping and the detection of Osterine and other PEDs, this has reinforced everything I've been telling y'all, man. I'm telling you, bro. Ryan Garcia, it's not a it's not a case of Ryan Garcia being innocent. It's only a determination, a determination of whether or not Ryan Garcia cheated intentionally or he cheated unintentionally. The Osterine was already present in the system. So once again, we are correct, chat. Come on, man. Y'all got to stick with us, man. I give you all. Bro, I was hoping. This is good news because I was hoping that Ryan Garcia would find that he did it unintentionally because I I don't want him to get um suspended. But if he cheated intentionally, then I think he should get the hammer of the law. Put that hammer down. Uh, Yeah, no. Bad call. He loves his hammer. You know, I, ideally, I wish he didn't cheat at all. But, you know, he's, he's held accountable because you have to be careful of what you ingest or intake in your system. You also have a strength and conditioning coach to also check these things. You have a dietitian and a nutritionist to also check these things. So he is negligent for not doing his due diligence and being careful. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Watch your mouth. And, 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 and um, making sure and ensuring that with the stuff that he's taking, whether it's supplements that are that are pure or supplements that are contaminated he has to make sure that these bad substances aren't getting inside his system and he was negligent of that he didn't do that so he is guilty of having the austerine in the system but it's not a manner it's not a manner it's not a matter of guilt or innocent he already has it in the system it's just a matter of whether or not he cheated intentionally or unintentionally and they have said that he has done it unintentionally now you may not agree people may not believe it like victor conti says right here victor conti says why are they testing powders from unsealed supplement containers hey we might have these questions you know but i told you i will always adhere to what the, the 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 governing bodies and the authoritative figures on these issues whatever they determine i'm cool with and they determined that he did it unintentionally so ryan garcia has been cleared of cheating intentionally he has not been cleared of cheating chat that's not the matter of that's not the matter at hand anymore so i appreciate y'all rocking me as always man this is dr pgngm y'all know what it is but i give y'all all the facts all the news wholeheartedly holistically and from an honest and truthful standpoint and unbiased man this is just the news so everybody say that he's innocent it has never been a case of being innocent he is not innocent he is negligent and he had it in the system so that is what it is but it was due to a contaminated supplement so he didn't do it on purpose so hey it is what it is man appreciate y'all don't forget to like the video we out god bless the doctor's out peace remember with god we can do anything without god we are nothing from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets